Okay, so the original plan today was we're going to sail for a couple hours and then get on back. But it's just too damn nice. Going nicely. What time is it? It's about two o'clock. The winds come up, so in order to flatten the boat out a little, we've reefed the main. Now, reefing the main on any boat is pretty simple. You adjust the outhaul so that uh, the sail is pulled up. You have to change the, the head of the sail. For me, it's really simple. There's a hook up there on the gooseneck. You just hook it to the new uh, the reefing hook, and then the reefing ties. All they do is they just keep the sail up. Like it's important. Don't don't punch your sail up underneath the boom and then tie them off. It's kind of hold through your, your sail, and uh, that's not good. All right, so uh, we're doing about I don't know five and a half six knots and um, making good time towards Avalon. We're about halfway there. Wave, Simon. That was for you, Kristen. All right, so we are approaching Catalina. Uh, Avalon's off in the distance. Maybe you can see it. It's really kind of windy. We uh, we had a reef in the main, but we shook it out and uh, got it on full sail again. We're making about five knots, doing pretty well. We got Simon on the tiller. Wave, Simon! And we're still going at 180 degrees. Still at 180 degrees. This is kind of fun. So here's the thing is, and there's the, the ball compass right there. Don't put your cell phone next to your compass. So, yeah, don't oh, no, put your cell phone next to your compass. <laughs> One more time, just for fun. Woo! I know it's out of focus, but you get the idea. Don't put your cell phone by the compass, Keith. We're in a pot of dolphins. They were right up at the boat, and then I got the camera out, and now they're camera shy. Third one. Nope. Good eyes, Simon. Where's the moon? Here's behind us, too. More dolphins. Alright, time to fire up the engine. Alright, so we're coming into Avalon. Now, coming into Avalon is actually really easy. You pull up into the mouth of the harbor, and there's this little red harbor master boat chase you down and um, make sure that they get your money. So it's really pretty easy. Uh, I don't think they're doing reservations at Avalon like they do at um, at Two Harbors. Last time I was here it was, you know, first come first serve and uh, you got to clear the mornings kind of early. So we'll go in there and see what we got. Sailor over there. Got a pot of dolphins coming right at us. We're gonna see if we can put her into neutral. Then throw her into neutral and see if they swim by us. All right. Bunch of them.
Oh, they're kind of loud. That's awesome. So a beautiful night at Avalon. We went to the lobster trap and had some dinner. And uh, it's quieting down. We mooched, we mooched a sleeping bag from one of our friends that lives here from Robin. Shout out to Robin. And uh, so I think it's Silver Canyon. The restaurant was, uh, was really good. And then we're waiting for the shore boat. And there's Simon. Wave, Simon! He can't, his hands are full. And there's a Vons here too, which is awesome. And today we're going to be sailing with Sailing Vessel Joy with our friend Anthony. Set for zero degrees and goes straight north. We're on a Catalina 30. A little faster hull speed than we got. That's okay. We are superbly confident in Simon's abilities. What do we say? You're standing with your, you're blocking my focus. Wave, Simon. It's hard to see, but there's these floating bubble things that are actually, it's kind of like a Portuguese man of war. They're much smaller. I'm not going to jump up and attack you or nothing like that, but I wouldn't want to be grabbing them. They're not very big. Let's see if I can get a better shot of one. beautiful schooner coming out and we're motor sailing so we're kind of stuck with that it's just the angle and the wind we've had all day beautiful beautiful boat